Oh hey! Welcome back to Design at Scale. Today I'd love to have you join me as I talk about Easter eggs. When I talk about Easter eggs, I'm not necessarily talking about something that's literally an egg. What I mean is something that's in reference to one of my favorite books, Ready Player One, in which Ernest Klein writes a grand adventure through virtual reality of Wade Watts and his friends who are fighting for the Oasis, the virtual world they grew up in, against this evil-doing corporate butthead who wants to turn everyone's screen into something that's almost seizure-inducing. I won't spoil anything for you in this video. The point is that in Ready Player One, the wizard Anorak, Oasis CEO James Halliday's avatar hides a golden egg in the middle of the Oasis somewhere where nobody knows what it is, but they know it has this grand treasure in it and everyone seeks it out. So the egg hunters, contracted to Gunters, go searching for the Easter egg, the golden egg of Anorak, in order to earn their treasure. And the final egg in Ready Player One actually does look like a golden Easter egg, but it's in reference to something else. Follow me into the 8-bit world of Atari. In 1979, the game Adventure, yep, this blocky color blob on the screen, was about to make history. Warren Robinette, the game's designer, decided to do something novel for the time. He wanted credit for being the game's creator, and at the time, Atari didn't give credit to the designers. Robinette found a way to hide his name inside the game for players to stumble on and find. It became known as an Easter egg, a hidden little gem. For the 2018-2019 school year, I wanted to get a VR system for, for the entire school. Sadly, we don't just have money to throw around, so we had to raise money. And I thought it would be easy to encourage my students to help raise money to get a virtual reality system. I would have been excited if I were in middle school. I was wrong. Boy, was I wrong. It turns out I'm an avid deployer of story-based learning and gamification strategies to, let's just say, influence my students' behavior. So with my hopes of VRing us some cool art learning experiences in my heart and no cash in my pockets, I got to work creating the VRcade Gunter's quest for the golden egg. In the game, students could earn coins that led them to earn keys, which led them into playing for the golden egg. I stole it directly from Ernest Klein in Ready Player One. I take zero credit for that. For instance, Gunter's who connected with the most people via social media to gain attention for our fundraiser would earn the blue key. The Gunter to help earn the most amount of money under their player name would earn the green key. There were other keys, but I think you get the point. Look, I know what you're thinking. I still haven't explained what an Easter egg is for the VRcade Gunters. I'm getting there. Right, back to my initial point. In the case of the VRcade, Easter eggs are hidden opportunities to earn coins for doing something that's valuable to learning. One example of one of the Easter eggs I can share now was one little piece of one of the logos for the VRcade embedded in an e-learning plan I deployed two weeks ago that if clicked on that one little piece and that one little logo would teleport the Gunter to the VRcade Gunter's website where they had to solve a riddle. If they solved that riddle correctly, the first player to solve that riddle earned 300 coins. The second to solve it, 250 coins. The third to solve it, 150 coins. Now, in order to do that, they had to read all of the instructions and maybe know a little bit about my personality. Now that's teaching people how to build skills that we need. Literally speaking, the value of an Easter egg is just the coin value associated with solving the riddle that's associated with that Easter egg. As a teacher though, they're far more valuable. If I need for my students to pay more attention to a slide presentation or a video that I've created or any video or to communicate more with their community members or to participate in community action, I can hide an Easter egg and encourage them and incentivize and reward them for participating in those things that will help them learn. And to me, that's something great. Sadly, at the beginning of my career, 12 years ago, part of my guiding principles were students should just do the stuff they're supposed to do. 
Well, I should eat less pizza and do more sit-ups, but we see how that turned out. Now, Easter eggs bring people together. Students and teachers, students and community, parents and students, and all of the learning cycle happens together because there's now incentivization and fun. There were so many parents emailing me last year and connecting with me personally, telling me how much fun their child was having and how much fun they were having watching their children have fun while participating in community events that I decided it'd be a great idea to keep doing it. And I hope it's working. Oh yeah, the golden egg. I hid it in a very fun place last year. I collaborated with the owners of a business. I won't tell you where it was, and I hope last year's winners don't either, because maybe someday I'll reuse it. But we collaborated, and I put the golden egg in this very special place. And Gunters had to collaborate by using their, their player's almanacs and their keys and all the clues that they had amassed throughout the gameplay. That when they finally got to the golden egg, and smashed it open and pulled out all the prizes. And it literally was filled with prizes like a dragon's hoard of treasure. They got to finally relish in their endeavors throughout the rest of the year. And they deserved it. Now, to throw back to the Atari thing, I created a chalice, a golden chalice, that I sat the golden egg on. And then when students picked it up, it was supposed to glow gold from it. The batteries died in my gold LEDs, but whatever. But I stole that directly from Atari's Sword Quest challenges in the 1970s and 80s. Because I thought, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. And I think part of celebrating student achievement is hiding things for them to find and then rewarding them for solving challenges. And it just might happen to go along with helping them learn. So, that's what an Easter egg is. It's a hidden opportunity for you to be able to do something else. And it won't necessarily look like an Easter egg, won't necessarily crack open like an egg. Maybe it's in the form of coins immediately, but you'll know what it is when you find it. All right, guys. Happy gunting. Good luck finding that golden egg. That's gamification, and that's design at scale. <laughs>